Welcome back, everybody. I'm Alexander Nez. Thank you for watching another episode of The Drop TV. Today, straight from Stockholm, Sweden, we are dropping in with the heavy-hitting duo, Kazette. You got me strung up like a puppet, hung up on a thin red line. How did you come up with the name Kazette? I mean, because it's a very unique name. You know, I mean, was it, were cassette tapes huge in Sweden? Were they the, the gateway tool to listening to music for you guys? Or like, why cassette? It was actually our manager who uh, proposed the name to us. And um, I think it's because when we start, first started sending him like our material before we were cassette, uh, it was also diverse, like all these different genres. And what you did before is that you, at least I did this as a kid, I recorded tracks off the radio with a cassette uh, and I, you know, didn't really care about genre aspect and like it was just like this track is good, this track is good, and you collected it on your mixtape. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's kind of why he came up with that. So, because it's like a match for how we are as producers, we just like to do like we want to like squeeze as much different kind of kinds of music into like our, all of our tracks. How long ago did you guys meet? About four and a half years ago. So four years ago, and I and I heard it was online. Yeah. Was it online? I yeah, mean, yeah. I bet that's a crazy... MySpace. Can Good you, old days. Can you explain how that happened? We just started sending tracks back and forth, basically. Uh, it was actually me, because I I started up producing later than him, because I'm younger than him. Um, he was already kind of experienced, and he had a MySpace page, and I found him there when I just started out. Okay. So I sent him some songs, and we I got his, like, back then he used uh, MSN. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. Messenger. Yeah. Messenger, yeah. Messenger. Yeah, so we were um, we were talking there and, and we just sent tracks back and forward. And then we didn't speak for two years. I got better and then I sent him a demo randomly one night when I was just I was starting on a remix and he's like, Oh, this is great, and we can maybe we can do this together. I hear some stuff that I can make better and maybe you wanna try? I'm like, Yeah, sure. And that, it was just spontaneous and then after we're like, oh, our workflow is very good and we make good songs so we can keep going and six months later we got signed. All from MySpace. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Yeah. You, Tom. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, your, uh, your most recent single, Blind Heart, it's a phenomenal track. Thank um, you. Collaborating with Terry B. How was it working with her? We heard that Capella, Ash, um, our manager, showed it to us and we were like, this has great soul, like, we want to do something with this. Right. And then uh, it was like back and forth for a while. We had like six or seven different versions. Yeah. And then we just had to basically sit down and be like, hey, we gotta finish this now. I really love how dance music is now starting to collaborate with other genres of music. So, you know, we were talking about hip hop before. If you could collaborate with any hip hop artist right now, who would it be? I know it's really hard to do. Kanye West? Every day. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would have to go with Kanye as well. Why is that? He's very creative. That is unpredictable. And I think he tried to break, you know, the radio format that it needs to be around three minutes. It needs to be arranged in this way, otherwise people lose interest, which I think also is, you know, a problem in radio. Um, and that's why we like him so much because he's trying so, so much and always push, pushing forward. So we look up, look up to him a lot and we love his music, so. Now you guys are responsible for having the first ever dance music album exclusively released through Spotify. Yeah. That's incredible. How did that opportunity present itself to you guys? Um, it was <laughs> it was Ash again, our manager, who... Uh, He's who, a great uh, manager. Yeah, he, he is. <laughs> he, uh, I think he met uh, Daniel Ick on the on like a flight or something, and they started talking about doing something together, and then the opportunity was pre presented to us. And for us, we're like, we love Spotify. Like we use it every day, all the time, basically. So when we heard, we were just like, awesome, let's do it. You know, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. It'll be something new. Uh, we tend to like rather to like try new stuff that's not necessarily considered safe. Right. It's more interesting to see if, if it's going to fail or not, right. rather than just know that it's going to be safe. Right. It's more interesting to and, see, um, yeah, which and take going. risks. Absolutely. We love to take that's risks. That's what it's about. So that's my last question, you guys. We have the holidays upon us, Christmas is around the corner. If you could remix any Christmas song mm -hmm. out there, Jingle Bells, Frosty the Snowman. I think Oliver Grime did that. Well, oh, yeah, he did, yeah, he did, he did it with his Mercy remix. He took the, the synth and just made the Christmas Jingle dun, 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 dun. And it was yeah. a trap song. And if you, guys, kind of if you guys would do it, which song would it be? Jingle Bells, <laughs> definitely, 100%. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Sebastian. My name is Alex. And we are Kazette. We're watching The Drop TV.